It's about more than just fashion. These two dresses are part of a new line that's all about breaking down stigma and stereotypes. It's named after Manal Asaf. She deals with anxiety. Meet Widad Amiri. A velvet dress. Each velvet. item in her latest line is named after a woman dealing with mental illness. This piece is named after Alia Noor. And People like Alia and it anxiety. It's like a hundred times harder than what you thought it would be. This piece... Amiri founded Aflatus Hijab, a modesty line out of Edmonton four years ago, focusing on woman empowerment. I think people have a false impression of what an actual Muslim woman is. Uh, they have this false narrative that they see, see in the media, and that's not the majority of Muslim women. There's so many different kinds that wear hijab, that don't wear hijab, that are in the Olympics, that are... Designers. For this Muslim fashion designer, she wanted to break down misconceptions for women in her community. I need to talk about it outside the Muslim community and society in general. But I want to focus in on my own community because it is still a taboo topic. There is a lot of stigma attached to it. And I just wanted the women to know that there are other people dealing with it and they're not alone. Research has shown that the post 9 11 rise of Islamophobia has had an impact on Muslim mental health. Six of the seven women featured in this campaign are Albertan and Muslim, and you can read about them with the article of clothing they are named for. It just makes them more real, I feel like. Um, these are people that we grew up with, or people that we know, people from the community. And says that's why it's more important than ever to talk about this, from PTSD to addiction to depression. And her work is being recognized. She heads to New York next month with this line really new to me. I didn't expect to do it, but I'm really excited. Breaking down the stigma on an international stage. In Edmonton, Carly Robinson, City News.